for the crack filling bid, there is a bit of information here that is uh, more last minute than I like. Um, I'd like to have a discussion about it and if people are comfortable, um, make that approval this evening as it's getting late in the season. Um, if at the end of the discussion we're not comfortable with that, then we would have to table it. Um, so we put out and rebid for crack filling. Um, two bids came back, one from National, what is it, National? National Industrial Maintenance. National Industrial Maintenance for $35,144.40, and then another for Thunder Road for $127,000 even. Um, National Industrial Maintenance is a relatively new company. Um, that we don't have a lot of experience with. So it certainly uh, raised my eyebrow. Uh, the bid opening was yesterday, 10 o'clock? Yesterday at 10 o'clock. So it was a short turnaround. Um, I asked engineer, engineer Ginelli to take a look at the two bids and give me his opinion of the two. Uh, he wrote me an email today at 3.50 which I, forward, I had to clerk forward to everybody. Um, I also, uh, it's also, uh, was on your chair for review. Um, a few of the things that he pointed out um, that I can call to your attention is, um, and I don't wanna read the whole thing, but we certainly could. Um, he notes that it's possible that one bidder may be routing cracks and the other may be merely filling cracks. Um, but either way, our bid specifications do not require one over the other. Um, he did do some legwork for us and he talked to a representative from um, National Industrial and um, he had the following comments, which is in the email. Um, I called and spoke with Vice President of National Industrial Maintenance, Mike Meyer, Mike Mears. Uh, he is one of the individuals responsible for the bid. When I asked about the process that he bid for Waukesha, he mentioned blowing the debris out of the cracks and then filling them. He and I spoke for a few minutes. He indicated that they are part of a large conglomerate called Carillon. Uh, they have started crack filling side of the business this year and have completed a number of jobs throughout the country. Um, then in the uh, further paragraph, he goes on to say that for your reference and consideration, uh, this is from engineer Ginelli, uh, when we bid crack filling project, we provide a specification which requires contractors to blow and fill smaller, narrower cracks and also route and fill larger, wider cracks based on my conversation with Mike Mears. Uh, they are not planning to route larger cracks. What is being proposed by National Industrial Maintenance, blow and fill, is not inappropriate given the bid documents and may satisfy the needs of the village. It appears that National Industrial Maintenance uh, has the backing of a large corporation and based on what we have found, we cannot find any negative reason in which would preclude the village from awarding the contract for them if the village decides to do so. We also had a number of references uh, provided with them you want to give us some feedback on what you learned on that, Clerk uh, uh, Yeah, so they provided uh, five references. Two were in Ohio, two were in Texas, one was in Minnesota. Um, after the bid opening yesterday, I spent a little over an hour contacting all five references. Um, I got ended up getting transferred around to a lot of different departments and engineers, um, and ultimately had to be five separate voicemails. Um, one of them was returned today. Um, it was uh, White Bear Lake, Minnesota. Um, they said they hired them earlier this year. They said they were in the exact same boat as us, that their bid came in uh, much lower than other bids. Uh, they were had the same concerns. It was a newer company. They hadn't heard anything about them, uh, but they accepted the bid. Um, the work was completed, and they were very happy with it, and they said that they would have no problem recommending them um, for others to do crack filling jobs. Thank you. So that's kind of what I know about the two bids. Like I said, I would like to get this behind us this evening. 
Um, we can have some more discussion, but if people are uh, aren't comfortable with that, given the short notice, uh, I certainly understand that also. Um, um, what I'm keep, I'll go ahead. What's the difference between the two bids again? They want that uh, National Industrial Maintenance is 35144 and Thunder Road is 127000 even. Grand. For routing larger, correct? That's what you just said the first time when I was yeah. sure yeah. correct. An engineer, or excuse me, engineer, I just promoted you. Yeah. <laughs> DPW Director Dolly is here if we want to get his, his input. Yeah, I'd be curious. Um, Jerry, if you have any insight, typically when I've seen the crews out on the highway doing the crap filling, they're just blowing the crap out, correct? How, how often, I mean, in, in this packet it doesn't specify, you know, how many feet of crack or large cracks or what a large crack is. Um, I'm just curious what your experience wow. might offer. Step on up, please. Yeah. So the folks at home can hear you too. I think, I think the correct way to do it is to roll them and fill them with bigger cracks. Uh, our big specification does not include that. Uh, and we haven't been doing that. We do what they call blow and go, and that's basically blow it out and fill them. Uh, I don't know anything about this company. Uh, it's, it's entirely up, up to you, you know. If, if, if they've got a reference and somebody to back, I haven't seen their work never heard of them I don't know that's a big difference uh, in price a huge difference you know for the amount of area that we do do you know about how many pounds they usually use I no I really don't, I really don't. and actually the Thunder Road's first bid was I believe 90 90,000 yeah and, and, and actually I thought that was a little bit high for what we're having done they do our flex bands. They do a great job. Thunder Road has done a good job for us. Uh, I mean, we had we had an outfit uh, interstate sealant uh, crack to us uh, a couple of years back, and their bid was like forty thousand dollars less than everybody else. And we took them, and you might as well take a paintbrush and paint it on the road and fail the first year. So I don't know what kind of warranty, guarantee, or whatever you get, you know. And you keep an eye on them, right? Yeah, you try to, you know. I'd make a motion to accept the bid for national industrial maintenance. Okay. All right, there's a motion to accept the bid for national industrial maintenance in the amount of $35,144.40 from Trustee German with a second from Trustee Kalinske. Uh, let's do a roll call vote, please. German. Aye. Gorecki. Aye. Kalinske. Aye. Stigler. Aye. Dorr. Aye. Thank you, that motion passes. 